Hi everyone, I'm Lizzie. Today's daily pattern is from Acts 24 when Paul is tried before Felix, who was the Roman governor. When we read about Paul in Acts, it's awe-inspiring, isn't it? How does he manage to be so bold, so fearless and so clear about his actions when he knows he could be killed at any point? If you're like me, you think, well, Paul was special. There's no way we're called to be like him. While we all have different callings and face very different challenges, Paul's words and actions are a model for us all to learn from. One of the things I love about children is their transparency. They don't hide their feelings. My six-year-old granddaughter is full of fun and energy. But after a socially distanced visit, when we were all making a big effort to put on brave faces, she blurted out, I hate lockdown. Without fear, she said what we were all thinking. So often we think we have to hide what we're really feeling. But not Paul. In verse 16 of this chapter, he says, so I strive always to keep my conscience clear before God and man. Everything that he was being accused of, that he was a troublemaker, even that he had tried to desecrate the temple, the most holy place to the Jews, he could refute simply and clearly because he had nothing to hide. He sought with all his heart to keep his conscience clear. In Paul's letters to us, he teaches us that we too can be transparent, that we can live boldly without shame and explain what we believe without getting anxious. Paul had made terrible mistakes in his past, but he knew he was forgiven. Do you know you are forgiven? When we're forgiven, shame doesn't hang around. When we know God's love in our hearts, we can be free of fear. Paul also knew what it was like to be anxious, to have fear. That is why he wanted to write so often about God's peace. I'd like to finish by reading these wonderful ver words from Philippians 4, verse 5. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. <laughs>